because you've been blessed. Everyone here has been blessed. Some of you, you know, you've been a hard travel from here. Get my point? Get surgeries and all that stuff. You're still working with that. But because of that, you can actually give more than a lot of other people. Things I don't know. My weakness I feel I must finally show. This camp is important because without this camp, I would not have made all these amazing friends. I would not have been able to, like, it's made me more confident. Like, I was very scared that people, because I get looks because, you know, my face looks a little bit different. And people don't understand, and then coming here, everybody understands. And it made me so much of a better person. It has taught me so much about how you can go through a rough patch, but you can bounce right back. And without being able to see people that have gone through the same thing that I have, I wouldn't have been able to realize what a big deal it was. You know, there's just kids that are out there that, you know, they're scared, they don't talk to people. But when they come here, it's just like, wow, you know, there's other people I can talk to about this. I'm not the only one that has no hair or is going through an illness, and especially something that, you know, is deadly, you know? And so well, it's changed my life, basically. Like, it's made me a better person and wanting to be nicer to people. Can It shows me to make my disability a better thing. Like, not it's not a negative thing. At the very first leadership camp, campers were asked to raise their hand if they had ever told their personal story in front of an audience. Only one hand was raised. Why would they not want to tell their incredible stories? They explained that they were embarrassed and ashamed of their illnesses, out of fear of being labeled as a sick kid. Calvary Kids has really like opened me up to talking to people about it, because like beforehand, I felt kind of selfish, like I was the only kid that this ever happened to, and now it's kind of good to come here and be able to talk to other kids about how they felt and feeling the same way as they did. At leadership camp, we focus on the positive sides of their diseases, teach them leadership skills, and help them develop their own motivational speeches, which they present on the last day of camp. Their stories evolve from heartbreaking tragedies that trigger one's sympathies into empowering testaments of hope, perseverance, and courage. God doesn't give you what you cannot handle, and going through, I mean, when I was in school, during that period of time when I was being bullied so much, I didn't understand that. I, I thought, why do you trust me so much? And I came to Cabot, and then I got, I had the opportunity to be told that I, through my story, I can share my faith and that I can be a light unto others. Marianne Williamson once said, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented? Who am I to change the world or make a difference? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Our playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not in just some of us, but everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. I feel like that's what we get to do at camp. We learn to use our illness as a tool and not something that drags us down for the rest of our life. We get to say things that we've been thinking about our illness for their, sometimes our entire lives. And that is an absolutely priceless experience. You invest your love, you invest your life. In these bodies we will live, in these bodies.